Beyoncé is a global fashion icon, and her Renaissance tour only confirmed the early statement. As in her latest Atlanta show, the Queen be honored Indian designer Gaurav Gupta twice after she sported a neon green sari gown on stage. Beyoncé wears sari gown by Gaurav Gupta for Renaissance World Tour concert, it should cost a billion to look this good. Beyoncé wore another Gaurav Gupta creation for a Renaissance World Tour concert. She wore a sari gown in a neon green shade. The superstar shared pictures of her opulent neon green outfit, after taking the stage for the first show of a three-day stop in Atlanta. The one-shouldered draped gown, which was pulled from Gaurav Gupta's Fall 2023 Couture Collection, consisted of an artful bodice made of draped fabric with strategic sheer panels, and a flowing skirt with an open hip-high slit. A matching attached hood covered the back of the singer's head, covering her honey blonde hair which was styled in glamorous curls. Beyoncé delighted her Desi fans and fashion lovers across the globe as she appeared on stage to perform during her Renaissance World Tour concert in another creation by Indian designer Gaurav Gupta. Queen Bee embraced the Desi style with a twist as she wore a sari gown from the designer's Hiranyagarbha Paris Couture Week Autumn Winter 23-24 collection. This couture meets Renaissance moment delighted Beyoncé's fans as they rushed to the comments section to compliment the star. To keep the captivating details on display, the 29 times Grammy winner opted for minimal accessories, which boast a silver bracelet, some rings, stunning earnings made of diamond, and matching heels. She completed the look with matching green ankle strap heeled sandals, a silver bone cuff bracelet by Tiffany and & Company, and an array of silver rings. Her makeup included shimmery green and gold eyeshadow and a matte nude lip. Usher has revealed his surprise connection with Beyoncé that dates back to when she was a budding preteen star as part of a group called The Dolls. The Rand B legend recently joined Capital Breakfast with Roman Kemp in the U.K., where he explained that a studio session had put him in the same room as Bay, and he was tasked with essentially being the group's babysitter. Fun fact, I knew Beyoncé when she was 12 years old, 11 years old, he said. She used to be in a group by the name of The Dolls. I don't know if I could consider myself their babysitter, but I had a time where I had to watch the dolls. Usher explained that he ended up watching them one day while he was at record producer and songwriter Daryl Simmons' house. Simmons, was working with, the dolls, at the time, and I just happened to be over there and they were working on a session, he said. I kind of found my way into being there, like, I don't know, chaperone, nanny, or something like that, because I was kind of the oldest person in the room. It's crazy to think about how much talent was in the room as Beyoncé and Usher went on to dominate the recording industry. Roughly three decades later, the pair of music titans have a combined 40 Grammy Awards and several multi-platinum plaques. In the years since then, Usher and Beyoncé have blazed trails in their highly successful careers, with both stars earning multiple Grammy, Billboard, and MTV Video Music Awards. In 2008, Beyoncé, alongside rapper Lil Wayne, was featured on Usher's single Love in This Club, Part 2. They are also business partners. Usher and Beyoncé are both stakeholders in the music streaming service title, which Beyoncé's husband, Jay-Z, purchased in 2015. Thank you for watching our video. Please like the videos and subscribe to our channel.